Hi everybody, on this episode I would like to share some information for general knowledge about Bhutanese textile and art of weaving in Bhutan. Bhutanese textiles represent a rich and complex repository of a unique art form. They are recognized for their abundance of color, sophistication and variation of patterns, and the intricate tying and weaving techniques. The weavers, who are mostly women, must not be seen merely as creator of wealth but also as the innovators and owners of artistic skills developed and nurtured over centuries of time. For centuries, the Bhutanese have been wearing the beautiful and delicate textiles. As the textile production moves beyond the confines of clothing to the artistic expression of individuals and communities, patronage from royal household is vital. The role and the influence of royal women in sustaining and promoting the weaving tradition are very important. Tagzo, the art of weaving is an essential part of Bhutan's cultural heritage in the 13 traditional arts and crafts that have been practiced from the immemorial time. The textile shows a side of Bhutan culture in vibrant colors, sophisticated patterns and the intricate dyeing and weaving techniques. These complicated techniques have been developed and practiced widely for ages throughout the history of the kingdom. There are several types of patterns. Plain weave textiles are usually woven in patterns with stripe and plates. Warp is the yarn that runs length side on the loom. The warp pattern designs are characterized by their supplementary warp floating technique that forms bands of the repeated motifs on ground. The different warp pattern designs are differentiated with their color shams. The number of legs or cross hatches in each supplementary warp pattern band is one indicator of the superiority of the textile. The textile is even more priced when the weaver includes weft pattern design. Weft patterns are popularly referred to as Sapma continuous weft patterns and Tikma discontinuous weft patterns in Bhutan. The continuous weft patterns are very similar to those featured in other textiles throughout South and Southeast Asia. The weft yarn is inserted between intervals of the warp yarn to create continuous weft patterns. 
The discontinuous weft patterns motifs resemble embroidery are indigenous to Bhutan. Colored pattern yarns are knotted individually to the weft yarns to create geometric motifs which are usually combination of multiple pattern motifs. Bhutan's traditional dress is one of the most distinctive and visible aspects of the country. It's compulsory for all Bhutanese to wear national dress in schools, government offices and on formal occasions. Men, women and children wear traditional clothing made from Bhutanese textile in a variety of colorful patterns. The Bhutanese pride themselves in the art of creating these beautiful and unique textiles. They wear these textile clothes almost every day. Bhutan government has made the national dress the standard to be worn during official setups. Men wear go, women wear kira, giving the people a unique identity. In almost every Bhutanese house, you can come across some connections to a weaver or weaving. Go is a long rope similar to the Tibetan chuba. It's knee length and to hold it in place, they use a woven cloth belt called kera. The kera is wound tightly around the waist and the large pouch formed about it's traditionally used to carry a bowl, money and the making of doma. Goes come in a wide variety of patterns, though often they have plate or stripe designs. Flowered patterns are taboo and solid reds and yellows are avoided because these are colors worn by monks. Otherwise, patterns have no special significance. Historically, Bhutanese men wore the same thing under their go that a true Scotsman wear under his kilt but today it's usually a pair of shorts. In winter it's correct to wear thermal underwear but it's more often a pair of jeans or a tracksuit. Women wear a long length dress called a kira. This is a rectangular piece of brightly colored cloth that wraps around the body over a Tibetan style silk blouse called the wonju. The kira is fastened at the shoulders with elaborate silver hoops called koma and at the waist with a belt that may be either of silver or cloth. Over the top is worn a short, open, jacket like garment called the toego. Women often wear large amounts of jewelry. The whole ensemble is a beautiful and Bhutanese women are very elegant in their finery. If you like my Bhutanese textile and art of weaving in Bhutan video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!